space, the final frontier. Who doesn't like Star Trek? The crew beams to a new world, finding new life, or even new civilizations. Amazing. Do you ever wonder if life exists elsewhere in this universe? Today, Earth is still the only place we know where life exists. We, human beings, are alone. We've been searching for life for several decades, from galaxies far, far away to our closest neighbor, the moon. We first landed on the moon in 1969, and we didn't see any little green man up there. But what if we were too late, The life already gone extinct? Or we are too early, that complex life has not yet evolved? Luckily, the Apollo missions brought back lunar samples, or moon rocks. And that is where my research begins. I shoot lasers at moon rocks. Yeah, lasers, eh? <laughs> and if there is some form of life, even as small as one single bacterium, my laser will interact with the molecules and return a unique signal, like a fingerprint. So far, I haven't seen any of that in my samples. But that doesn't mean there's absolutely no life on the moon. You see, the Apollo missions only covered a small part of the lunar surface. What if life exists on the far side? That's quite challenging to reach. Or what if they're not on the surface, but under the surface? That is why we are going back to the moon. This time, we are targeting areas where no one has boldly gone before, but with better technology, like my laser, <laughs> which can better analyze the target in a more efficient, accurate manner without destroying them. But remember, the moon is not our only destination. My laser will be equipped on more missions to Mars, Europa, and beyond. All these missions are about innovations and collaborations around the globe, education and inspiration for us and future generations. Come, join me on this epic journey of hope, the hope that we will find others, the hope that we are truly not alone. Thank you.